Well, as the saying goes, when justice is delayed, justice is denied. And tonight's Remarkable Woman finalist has spent years helping those in need navigate the legal system and find the justice that they deserve but can't always afford. We are judged by a jury of our peers and hope to be seen as equals in the eyes of the law. But too often, someone's journey through the legal system hits a financial roadblock. That's where Paula Barbarulo comes in. My clients need protection, and I am very protective of my clients. Paula runs a small bankruptcy law firm, but when she started practicing law 30 years ago, it was with a firm that focused on matrimonial law. Women found themselves in debt after divorce back then because they either weren't working or they weren't re earning what their spouses or previous ex-spouses were earning. So they ended up needing bankruptcy relief. And that's actually how I started practicing bankruptcy law. It's not just her clients Paula helps. For more than 20 years, she has devoted her time to pro bono work, helping develop a program with a local nonprofit that focused on coordinating lawyers to volunteer with bankruptcy cases. They need help and they don't have the mechanism or the means to do it. They can't afford bankruptcy. They can't afford the court filing fee. Her compassion felt not just in the courtroom, but in her office, where employees who nominated her for the Remarkable Women series say, you couldn't find a better boss. When anybody needs something outside of this realm, assistance with something in a family life, um, something you know personal, she's there. She's there like, family. Going the extra mile for her work family while taking care of her family at home, Paula and her husband are involved in their two sons activities. When you help people, it's better to be kinder and nicer than not. There's perhaps no better example for future lawyers and as a professor at Albany Law, she is living proof of the lesson of giving back each and every week. I imagine I'm like most adjuncts that we don't we don't teach for any other reason than we love the law, right? And I love what I do. Whether in the classroom or in the courtroom, office or at home, loving what she does really means Paula loves to help, something she says is really important for people to understand that it's okay to ask for help. It's okay. Pick up the phone and ask for help if you need it, whether it's debt, whether it's mortgage, whether it's your mental health, whether it's your, your job, ask for help. All of these women are so inspiring. If you'd like more information about our Remarkable Women series, you can check that all out on News10.com.